Hi everyone, I am Sangeeta, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, KSR Arts and Science College for Women, Tirchungur. Today we learn about Database Management System. Subtopic is Relational Database. A relational database is a collection of data items with predefined relationship between them. These items are organized as a set of tables with columns and rows. Tables are used to hold information about the object to be represented in the database. Structure of Relational Database A relational model is an approach to managing data using a structured and language consists with the first order predicate logic. First described in 1969 by English computer scientist F. Cole, where all the data is represented in terms of tuples grouped into relations. Database Schema A database schema is the skeleton structure that represents the logical view of the entire database. It defines how the data is organized and how the relations among them are associated. It formulates all the constraints that are to be applied on the data. Type of Schema A database schema can be divided broadly into two categories. First one is physical schema, second one is logical schema. Physical schema, this schema pertains to the actual storage of data and its form of storage like files, indicates, etc. It defines how the data will be stored in the secondary storage. Logical database schema, this schema defines all the logical constraints that need to be applied on the data stored. It defines tables, views and integrity constraints. Next one, key. A key in database management system is an attribute or a set of attributes that help to uniquely identify a tuples in a relation. Keys are also used to establish relationship between the different tables and columns of relations database. Individual value in the key, key are called the key values. Keys are consist in many types, primary key, candidate key, super key, foreign key, alternate key, composite key and artificial key. First one is primary key. It is the first key used to indicate one and only one incidence of an entire uniquely. An entity can contain multiple keys as we saw in the present table. The key which is most suitable from those list become a primary key. Candidate key. A candidate key is an attributes or a set of attributes that can uniquely identify a tuple. Except for primary key, the remaining attributes are considered a candidate key. The candidate key also the strong as the primary key. Super key. Super key is an attribute set that can equally identify a tuple. A super key is a super set of the candidate key. Foreign key. Foreign key are the column of the table used to point to the primary key of the another table. Alternate key. They there may be one or more attributes or combination of attributes that uniquely identify each tuple in a relation. These attributes or combination of attributes are called the candidate key. Next one, composite key. Whenever a primary key consists of more than one attribute, it is known as the composite key. This key is also known as the candidate key. Artificial key. The key created using arbitrarily assigned data are known as the artificial key. Thank you.